I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 25th, 26th, and 27th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, for my Pisces. How are you, my Pisces? Interesting stuff going on for you. Now, you know that I'm going to be doing my, re my readings. I'm going to be using my Radley Valentine deck. So I'm going to use my Angel Tarot cards for the main reading, and then I'll pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job just deliver the message. I don't have to understand it. And so many times, yes, I don't. Here we go. Um, there was a lot of things... Do you want to come out? Is that? I think this one might want to join. There's a lot of things that tried to keep my keep me from getting my readings done this week. So, um, you know, but perseverance, keeping vibrations high. We had I had some plumbing issues going on. They're all solved. Everything's good. I was sent angels to help. Anyway, let's see what we have. For my Pisces, three cards are face down. They're all reversed. So this is really strong stuff for you. Here we go. First card up, the four of fire. The four of fire, you know, this is really being in a really good place right now. Fours do have some stability. It does have some organization. It does have, again, it has this, you know, this sense of, um, you know, the sense of being where you are, being in the right place at the right time also. Fire energy is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, passionate, burning. It's also very, very determined. But this is, I'm feeling like this is kind of like you, you are in that right place at that right time. You are, you know, you are so primed for so many more opportunities, my Pisces. I know that that, you know, that hasn't been happening, I mean, that hasn't been happening to you in a very, I mean, a long time ago, but I think that in this last year or so, you've been traveling into that place of more and more opportunities, and you've had to make your way, you've had to fight for these opportunities, but now it's almost like the opportunities will be coming to you, okay? So this is you just being in that right place at the right time, and I, you know, so I would just kind of welcome, accept. Also remember the 29th, 30th is that full moon. And that's when we release, relinquish, but we also request. And that's in Cancer, which is a water sign like you. Okay. So it's, again, that, that being in that right place at the right time, kind of let it, let it come to you. Make sure you verbalize that. Keep your words positive. Okay, my Pisces. No, oh, this is bad. This is bad. What are we going to do? This is bad. No, no, no. Positive thoughts. Positive thoughts. Positive words. Okay. Anyway, contentment, peace, and abundance. A happy home life. The successful completion of a project. Here we go. Next card up. The four of earth. So you're having that four energy going on here. Earth is practical energy. It's, you know, it's our Capricorn, our Taurus, our Virgo, something, someone you can touch. A lot of times it has to do with money, money that comes from your job. But there's this four energy, this stability. There's this, um, again, this organization. There is this let this come to you. You don't, it's, it's you, you're in the, you're, again, I'm going to just say, it's like the right place at the right time. It, it, you know, it engages your passions. It also engages your practicality. Okay? Okay. And this does have, now you do have to be a little bit careful because the four of earth worries about spending money a little bit indiscriminately, let's put it that way. Um, but it's because the flow coming in is really good too. And this is about, there is a lot of business energy with this too. Here we go. Being too frivolous or too cautious with money. Good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate. And my Pisces, you are very kind with that. You are very kind. You may want to, you know, you might be saying, oh, what do we, you know, what do we tip? And the person with you say, oh, give them maybe $10. And you go, no, I think I need to give them 50. Okay, that's, that's my Pisces. That's your energy. 
and it's because you do know what they need. Okay, anyway, your next card, again reversed, the Knight of Water. So, Knights have the underlying energy is fire. Okay, so we have the fire here. Water energy, though, is your energy and Cancer, and it's also Scorpio energy. Fluid, it's emotional. Knights are directional. So there is this passion of the fire, but there's also this emotion of this water. But also, fire does have a spiritual element, but water has a spiritual connection. So it, there's this, you know, there's this joining of the fire and the water. Now, knights, again, knights need your direction. Knights need to know where you're going. While you're, you know, even though you're waiting and letting things come to you, it doesn't mean that you just stand still. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. It doesn't mean that you don't go after, okay, I know I'm being a little, it, you have to stay in motion. You have to stay where you're seen in order for this to come to you. Does that make sense? You have to be seen, you know, other, if you hide out, if you do a hermit mode, you know, people won't know where to find you. So you have to be seen. You have to still be, you know, out there. You have to be making your calls. It's just, you won't, it, it, it's, it's kind of like, um, you just don't have to worry about how the outcome, they will come to you. But they, you know, you, you do have to kind of market yourself in many ways, but it's not that you have to um, pressure others. I, ha I know that's, I hope that kind of makes sense. I, again, I, again, okay. But the Knight of Water is emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, contemplative, falling in love, or wedding proposals. The need to balance emotions and invitation to a social event. Like I said, you still need to be seen. In order for it to come to you, they still you still have to be, you, they still have to know you. You still have to, you know, like, so when, you know, when um, they're thinking about, oh, we need this or that, and they think, ah, Pisces, if they haven't seen you for a while, they're going to forget about you. So you still have to make yourself relevant. You still have to make yourself seen, okay? <laughs> okay, let's go on here. So, oh, we got, oh, we got a bunch of cards that fell for you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, goodness. A lot of Archangel energy here. So, let's go on. We're going to go ahead, and I guess they kind of fell here. So, fire energy, two, is decisions. Now, you know, two pot pathways. You know, you know, so this is kind of coming into your own and choosing what it is where your next steps are. Now. This is also make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. You need to be seen. You don't have to try so hard. You don't have to sell them. I guess that's the thing. It's not that you have to sell them, but you, they need to know that you're there. Anyway, now we come to a bunch. We have three Archangel energies. So write down their names. We have 12. Now, so we have, you know, 10 Transition, one, new beginnings, two, kind of decisions, add it together, three. That could be creativity also. So, perspective. Archangel Shamuel, how are you looking at things? Now, if you're also, if the perspective is that you're going out there, um, if you're going out, whatever, I kind of feel like somebody that sells, okay? And it doesn't mean that you're, this, I'm using this as an example. If you're going out there as the pushy salesperson, uh, it won't come to you. It won't come to you. If you're if you're afraid and it's kind of like I have to have this, I have to have this, it won't come to you. But if you you know go out there and you're like I've got a great product and you know you know I believe in my product, I believe in this. You know I not that I'm you know not even that you're trying to sell. It's just I believe in my product. I want to let you know about it. Like I said, you need to be relevant. So it, it's kind of changing how you're, how you're doing stuff. Anyway, there's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. Your next one, here we go. This is reversed. Here we are. Peace. So this has kind of that one and three energy. You can add it together. It could be a four energy. Archangel Azrael. 
So part of this is, again, have some faith, have some belief. Reach out to a higher power, guardian angel, your spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, your archangel, Shamuel, Azrael. So, you know, again, you know, if you're going out there with this desperation, it won't work for you. If you're going out there as with this confidence, being seen, relevant, it comes back to you. Anyway, release the past. There's a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Okay. And your last one. So there's a lot of releasing going on here too. So the last one is 15. So there's change, change, change. You know, six, number of man. But this is decision. This is Archangel Jophiel. We have some decision energy here also. And this is, again, that, that new moon on the 29th, 30th, release, relinquish, request. This is let go, move on. Let go, move on. Release yourself from that which holds you back, a need to detox, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. So if this, you know, like I said, if you're a salesperson, I'm using this as the example, you know, if you are desperate, please take my product, please, it won't work. But if you have confidence and you go, I've got a great product here, it will. You need to let it come to you, but you still need to be relevant. You still need to be seen. Okay? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see, my Pisces, what you need, what crystal might be helpful during this time for you. Here we go. Here we go. Go. There we are. Not reversed. Here we are. Fire. Fire. Ooh. Well, you do have some fire energy here. I don't, um, I don't want you to carry fire with you, but you may want to wear red or you may want to wear a color that really does ignite that type of energy and that passion. Okay, you may, as you're doing, you know, if it's safe, you may want to um, light some candles around you. You may want to light some red candles. Okay, now, fire is about passion, passionate, creation, travel, courage. So believe in, believe in whatever this is. Believe in yourself. You need to be seen. You need to be relevant, but it will come to you. Okay? Anyway. Oh, well, like I said, you know, had some plumbing issues. Try Every time I tried to sit down to do this, some, I had to go do something or something had to happen with those plumbing issues. They're all resolved. We got our message out. I love it. I love it. If you, my Pisces, do celebrate Christmas, I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. If you don't, just be so blessed. Be blessed. Remember the button, like, share, do all that good stuff. But more importantly, my Pisces, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.